Okay. Good morning. I bet this looks familiar. But it's not the same way you think it is. Okay. Now, First of all, her seven or sorry, her eight hundred dollar mixer blew up. She's done. KitchenAid, do not recommend them. I'll tell you what, I'll, we'll do a video on it one day that I feel less sore about it, but... We had it about a year and four months. No, yeah, and it's not the first one I bought, it's the third one I bought. Third one in four and, years. And, and they just don't last. So my, I have my eye on a Bosch something or other, whatever. Anyways. That's for another video. Maybe we do if we ever get to buy it, we'll do an unpacking video, whatever. Ah, there you go. Having said that, have you ever tried to knead three loaves, three batches of bread in one? You said knead. Knead. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I did it on purpose. It's almost impossible for the little old lady like me, or my hands just are not strong enough for it. So I did the first batch couple almost a week ago and it was all right i can knead it in and and kneaded it and it came out eh all right anyways you know that there's such thing as a no need brand so i was like well i wonder if it will work and lo and behold i just remember that recipe i gave you before with all the ingredients same ingredients nothing has changed except maybe i added a little bit of extra water and maybe a quarter of a cup extra water but I wanted to show you the first stage because I want to show you all the way through the end but the first stage once you mix all together your dough is going to look like this super gross and shaggy and terrible like me <laughs> no <laughs> anyways that's all I'm going to do for this morning okay the only thing is that you won't have bread as quickly as you would have with the other recipe now yeah. this is this one won't have bread until maybe the evening and so, it's super sticky. Yeah, so you just gotta plan ahead. But I'll show you the stages I go I went through yesterday. So this is what it looks like in the morning. Everything is the same, same ingredients, flour or blah blah blah. You'll see the recipe if you look it up. Anyways, uh this is for the morning. About five minutes worth of work. Ten minutes. And uh I'll show you later on. Bye bye. Okay. It grew. <laughs> yeah, some, it's alive! It's alive! Okay, I'm gonna show you what to do next. So, uh, there's no like time or perfect anything. Once it gets poofy like this, you know, it kinda. I probably should put a little bit of flour here to make sure it doesn't stick. But it don't matter. Aren't we hoity toity? Aren't we hoity toity, right? So, right now it's super sticky. You see sticky! That? Yeah, it's sticking to my hands. So, the first thing you're gonna do. Let's come here and get your hands really nice and wet, okay? Mm. By the way, yesterday we installed new faucet and, uh, yeah, this thing here is a, a water purification system. Yep. Yes. Anyway. Oh, here, move back. Let me see. Yeah. We show them, right? And it's, uh, woo, down there, if you can see it. Probably not. Anyway. Anyways, get your hands real wet. You see mine are soaking wet. And I think if you made sourdough bread in your life, you've probably seen this done or done this. You get your hand down here, stretch, dump it on top, 45 degree angle. Uh, Again. That's kind of obscene. <laughs> you might get censored. No. Then you do that. And then again, every 45 degrees. Yeah. And now she's still super sticky, and I just kind of go around, give it a few more tucks and turns. Let me get my hands wet a little more. And then I just grab this big boy and stuck it in there. See that? I, I, I don't know, last time I think we did this particular process about four times, and you'll see it change. Uh, every time but uh this is it for now she's done let her rise again when i remember i'll come and do the same thing okay Bye. okay hi i did this once before um and this is the this is gonna be the third time i do it I, my hands are wet not watch yeah. jiggle jiggle 
What was that song? My money don't wiggle. Yeah, money won't wiggle, wiggle. It jiggles, jiggles or something. My money don't jiggle, jiggle. It folds. Oh, no, I ain't got none of that foldy stuff. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> so, if you, I don't know if you guys can get a little closer to it. So, I'm going to do the same thing, but watch. It's getting stretchy. See, the, the texture of it is changing. Okay, so it's getting there. I think... Really, think, I think, let me see. Let's fold it one time and then roll it on its butt. Let's put the seam down. Technically speaking, I think you could probably do it now if you wanted to, if you were in a big hurry. It would, uh, you could form it and let it rise and then bake it. And it's got enough texture on it that it would do it. But uh, I like it a little more. Uh, because I want to use it for hamburger buns and stuff. So see? See how it's not as weird looking anymore? Do it, I think, a couple more times, but we'll bring you one back for the next one. So you can take a look. And uh, we we'll just keep going. Bye. Okay. Okay. So, oops. It's still sticking, but this is what? One, two, three, four. About five times so far. Same thing, wet hands. Okay, and nowhere this, near as sticky. Nowhere near as sticky. Watch, but uh, I'll show you something. It's getting there. Um, it's uh, it's getting more elastic, right? And it's really not sticking much anymore. But it's not quite smooth yet. The other test that you can do when you're ready, when you're there. I don't know, if, probably some of you already know this. So you take a little piece of dough and you stretch it. And you get the window pane thing uh, where you can actually see through light, light through the dough without, without tearing. See how it's still tearing a little bit? Not quite there yet. But, and some of it's stuck to my hands. But if you see it, not so much is sticking anymore. So it's getting there, but like I said, this is in 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 uh this is in instead of Kaniti. Yes. And well what was the name of that mixture? The one that I wanted? No, the one that busted. KitchenAid? Yeah, KitchenAid. You know, you have seen them, all the people use them. We only do three of those in four years. I probably... And the last one was an $800 mixer. Yeah, it was a commercial one. Okay, I probably won't show you again uh, until it's done. I'm probably going to do Kaniti like this, exactly like this, probably two or three more times before he's ready to do it. Yes. But oh. I'll show you the last process. One more time. KitchenAid sucky suck. <laughs> Wait a minute. Bye-bye. All right, we ready? We're ready. Okay. Look it up. <coughs> We're gonna call it good. <laughs> That's how I do things. Okay, so look at it now. It's a really big difference. It's still gonna be jiggle wiggle, okay? Wiggle wiggle. <laughs> it's gonna be a little jiggly, a little wiggly. I got no foldy foldy money. I might have some jiggly if I rob the kids. <laughs> Love me too. I think Mark has some jiggle wiggle in his wallet. So I'm gonna form it into rolls and I'm gonna show you what they look like before, but I'll show you once they're done again. I made a, a batch this big yesterday. That's all that's left. She, so she did not. <laughs> yes I did. Yeah. <clears throat> the kids, the little ones helped me form this ones. <clears throat> and, but look. Even today, a day after you know, they're floofy. They're great for like with soup and you can, you know, or uh, make it like a hamburger or a, sa yeah, a that's, sandwich. That's mm -hmm. part of my plan for the next couple of days is just a uh, hamburger bus for today. But, okay, so it is sticky. A little, it's still going to be feel sticky, but not as much. So I usually try to line my, part, my, my uh, baking sheet with parchment paper. And what we're gonna do is weigh it and cut it. Yeah, I should have put. I should have been a little more organized, huh? Uh, where should I be? Right where you are, my darling. Right there. Yes, boss. Okay. 
So what I do, what is it doing, man? Oh. Right, you're gonna stir it in. There we go. So a little bit of flour. Perhaps you should clean that. Sure, sure. Shh, shh. We don't clean. We just go about it. Okay. So I'm gonna take this big loop. Okay. And I mean, it comes off easy. It doesn't really stick anymore, but it's unwieldy. Okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna stick you know that down. movie, The Blob? Yeah. It literally. So what I do is I just kind of cut me a couple pieces. See how sticky it is? It's sticky. Move back a little bit. There we go. And I make mine about three ounces. You know. Oh, what do you know? It's almost perfect. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Mm -hmm. And I grab the thing and I just kind of, kind of think I did the, the same form before, but I just tuck it in. And go like this and uh, put it in here and I usually do and this is one of the larger baking sheets so there's three rows five each uh, so I end up with uh, what is it 15 and 15 30 <coughs> question yes uh, what happens if they're different sizes well, not much, really. We had uh, an incident yesterday. Some of them were a little bigger than others. They just cook a little extra. They uh. said they, they, if they're smaller, and I don't know. I never had a problem. They just come out a little extra crunchy. Come on, I know y'all wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and, and cut all of this up. Put them in the baking sheets, and I'll bring you back before... I put the I know, the plastic paper on top. Got it. Right. Okay. Okay. So this particular uh, is done. I got two of them. And then, okay. I'm gonna show you what I do after that. Cause I like the little uh, brownie top that I do. So, I mean, you could do this nice and put it in a container and use a brush but who has she gonna time? slap it on I, who has time for that? I put a little bit of this oil on my hand and then I go like this and put some on the top and squish it down you see that oh, now I, I got it what were you doing I was still filming you oh you squish hey, it down you should pay better if you want good help yeah I'm not right okay <laughs> so see how close they are when they grow a little more they're gonna touch each other and, and all of that, that's okay. Because what that does, it helps them so that they're softer when you mm. when you when you eat them, you know, when they when they cook. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna head and do this on all of them. And then let sit, let them sit, cover them with uh, plastic, <clears throat> let them rise and then throw them in the oven. But I'll show you what they look like when they're risen so that we can, I can show you. And then you can uh, maybe make it yourself. I mean, look, ideally, I guess you would have a uh, your mixer and all of that. And I would too, but... Our mixer broke. But no, look at, what if, what if, you know, something happens and you can't get a mixer and you can't get... Uh, you don't have electricity, but you have access to uh, an oven and stuff. Right. So you just gotta have uh, uh, other choices, right? So this is it. I'm squishing them, putting them in here, little grease. Who is eating on there? See, look, that's what it looks like. Yeah, let me see. What we? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, see, it's fluffy. They come out really good this mm. way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. We'll bring you back once they've risen and poofed up and they get ready to go in the oven. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> it's Mrs. Bukai. Wait, no, uh -huh. no, no. It's a, the Julia Child. Julia Child. Welcome. Anyways, they spend, what, a couple hours. I mean, depending on your kitchen, it'll go faster or slower so I just kind of went through and squished them a little bit but see how they're starting to get really close to each other I didn't squish this one so I'm gonna go ahead and do that 
Okay, don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. Anyways, they're like I said, they're starting to close in on each other by the time. What about that one? Squished. Squished. <laughs> by the time I get the oven going and stuff, they'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna start the oven now at 375. And oh, there's something in there. Chicken. For dinner. Anyways. Oh, um, I get dinner? Well, the boys will. Well, you sort of fed me lunch. I was figuring that was it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get excited now. Okay, they're gonna go in. So what I do is put in, put each of them for 20 minutes. Rotate the bath, rotate the I got lights in the eye. Oh. And it's glaring. People can't see your purdy face. 20 minutes, rotate the baking sheet, and another 10 minutes. That's more than enough for them to come out nice and cooked and all the mm. good things. And this will be part of the that, oven. That's the oven. That's the oven. That's an oven. And it, if you put it at 375, it's going to warm up to 450 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, it for now, y'all, because it's an emergency bread emergency. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Somebody forgot. That I'm filming a video today. <laughs> you can watch me burn myself. Ooh. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my oven going. Okay. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, yeah, but you did a better job. Them kids was terrible. <laughs> I'm rolling them out, and they just kind of yes. stick together, and it's fine. You know, they're cooked all the way Woo. through. Woo, baby. So the next batch is in the oven. Uh, they're really hard to cut into right now. No, no. So, <sighs> but this is it. I mean, you want them a little more brown on the outside, leave them in another five minutes. You want them a little less, you know, but they reached uh, 190 degrees of temperature inside. So they're good to go. These are good for sandwiches, which is what my kids like them with. I have one that will just apply butter and apply to face and that's it. Mm. And uh, what I do when they come out this, long, this little, I'll make hamburgers in this and i'll cut the hamburger party it's halfway or something and, and feed that to the kids and that's it i think that's it for now do you guys uh you want to see another one when it comes out do we have to no all right she forgot or you know you could get your dramatic effect no i think this will work this will work okay, okay just, i just wanted to share because like I said, my mixer is broken, and kneading by hand is a pain in the neck. So right. Here's another option. <laughs> I hope you enjoy.